Seeing is more than just vision. In this exhibition, we're also looking at the senses that help shape how we experience and navigate the world around us. So for example, the work by artist Carmen Papalia behind me. Carmen uses a white cane to navigate the world. Carmen is visually impaired. In Mobility Device, Carmen replaced this white cane with an entire marching band, and that band helped Carmen navigate Portland, Oregon for one day. That's quite a playful piece, and exploring the other end of that experience is White Cane Amplified, in which Carmen replaced his white cane with a loud hailer. I'm uh, blind. I don't have my white cane. This is actually what I'm using to uh, get around. So, sorry, I'm, I hear someone in front of me. Uh, and so he had to rely on people on the street to answer his questions about whether there was an obstruction or whether there was traffic coming so he could cross the street. And it explores the tension and anxiety that can sometimes be a part of navigating your environment with a white cane. Synesthesia is a condition that makes them mix their senses. So some people can hear colors or taste colors hear a sound and see a color, or see a color and hear a sound. There are different kinds of synesthetic people that are the ones that, who can actually see those visuals hanging in the air. So when you put a color here, it's going to detect the color and shoot a visual and shoot a sound. So every color has its own sound and visual. What I'm trying to do here is like generating some kind of game for playing with that uh, synesthesia effect, you know? You can put a color and, and hear a sound through that color. Sight Without Light is an installation by Story Inc. in collaboration with Daniel Kish, who famously uses echolocation to navigate the world. Daniel um, had both of his eyes removed at quite a young age due to cancer. So the parts of Daniel's brain that would normally be used to process vision are processing information about the sounds around him. Story Inc. created a soundproof chamber which allows visitors to Science Gallery to try out echolocation for themselves. So they go into the chamber, they make a loud shh sound, and they try and use the information about the echo of that sound to determine whether or not there's a large shield in front of them held by another visitor.